was saying, am I recording? Yeah, as I was saying, and because of God, I am here. And you know, that's that's who I, I thank every morning for waking me up. Cause you know, I really don't have to be woke up, you know. But but I say to my friend and for many people that's out there, don't don't give up, man. Don't don't be selfish and and leave this earth and leaving others to mourn because you felt like you couldn't make it. A lot of days I feel like I can't make it, but I press through it. And with prayer and time, things will get better. I mean, I might not be the biggest Christian in the world, but I know what I need to know to keep me going. And I got enough faith to know where my help comes from. You know what I'm saying? And and there's people out there who love you, man. I mean, when I lost my friend due to the suicide, it, it hit me so hard because, you know what I'm saying, it's like, I saw her not too long ago, and I still hear her voice linked in my ear. And and the fact that she's like closer in age to me, but when anybody leaves that I know, it, it really hits his home. Like, you know, life is not promised at all. But the life you do have, try to keep it and you know, make the best out of it, whether it's not whether it's not good or not. I know people who live on the streets and foster homes, but they live in every day like they got gold for days. And just to wake up and see the sunlight is gold to me. And maybe people don't have this outlook, but I mean, do whatever you can to keep it positive. Like, find the good in anything. Like yesterday, I didn't get the job. I still found good in it because after one no, it can be two yeses. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it's just like, man, it's mind-boggling to know a person who actually doesn't want to be alive because I'm so thankful to be alive. I don't even know how to, you know, show it. But you know who I'm talking to if you're watching this video. And I'm going to tell you to watch this video because I care about you a lot. And I don't want to see you go out like that. And I know it's hard. I know you're living your past from being in that house. And... I just really need you to find some type of inner peace and some some higher peace, you know. Not drinks, not not smoke, not no other type of shit, whatever people be on, but find something within yourself and 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 you know, make it the best that it could ever be. You may be living hell on earth, but trust me it's not that bad once all of it's over. I learned that God can put you down in the lowest place on earth, but it's not too much you can't handle because he won't do that to you. He's not that kind of God. And for those viewers who watch me who don't believe in God, then whoever you believe in, they can put you in the lowest point of your life and you can still make it because you have him. So don't, don't be discouraged about the life you're living right now because it all gets better in, in good time and your time is not his time and for you to want to leave 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 life and, and leave your people behind even though you might feel like you're living for someone else find find what you're living for find something you want to live for whether it's a person or, or a mere thought of just living i don't know what it could be but for me looking on the outside, I know that you got everything to live for, man. You wake up every day in your right mind. You wake up in some type of shelter. Whether you want to be there or not, you, you waking up point blank. You waking up, you can walk, you can talk. You know, you got all your limbs, you got you got all your teeth, you got, you got hair. I mean, people wake up and want to die because they don't have hair. You know, something simple like that. But you got to find the best, the best thing in life to live for. The smallest thing to live for. It don't even have to be big, but I I don't want to see you go out like that, man. I can't I can't lose another friend, a loved one, like that to to no type of 
if, if God don't take you, you ain't going nowhere. If you want to take yourself, then I still want to agree. And that's how I'm going to feel forever about it. For anybody who wants to take their life, it's not worth it. I love you, people love you, and it's not the end of the world because you're living not too far. But, let me see, I'm five minutes. I don't want to keep rambling, but the, the, the main point I'm trying to get across to you is live life and be happy on your own terms. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't look for the next person to make you happy. Make yourself happy. Please you. Don't live for nobody else. And that, and that could be in any type of situation. For your lifestyle or for what, whatever have you. Do you and be happy and, and just live life to the fullest. Because there's a lot of people who didn't make it. And a lot of people who wish they could have the things that you have. And live the life that you live. Whether you see it as hell or not, they can see it as a blessing in disguise. But I love you. Love yourself. And and find some type of inner peace. All I can do is pray. All I do is pray. Because only God knows what you live through. And I'm praying he'll bring you out of this situation that you're in. For anybody out there who may watch this video, my heart goes out to you. And you're not alone. Like, I don't like to hear that no one passed away or took their life for no reason. I think life is the most beautiful gift that God could ever give someone. And in his eyes, you deserve it. You might think you don't, but you deserve it. And if you keep waking up, then that's, there got to be some type of purpose on this earth that you're meant to serve. And by you taking your life, you, you, you just messed it up. You just missed it. And... Your life could be the beginning of someone else's life, you know what I'm saying? And a reaction like killing yourself could create a re shame reaction. Somebody else could want to do the same thing, you know what I'm saying? You find it suitable, but it's really not. That's, that's not the way to go. And that's my opinion, and I stand on it. But you're beautiful, you're lovable, you're kind, you're sweet. You everything that a person would want and it shouldn't go to waste because you live in the way you live. I say move, I say get away, I say go go to a beach, just get away from the atmosphere you're in. Some atmospheres are bad for you. And and I know you got a lot of, you know, pain inside of you from your childhood, but give it to God. That's the only person who can handle it. If you if you don't think you can handle it, give it to him. You know what I'm saying? There's no reason you should be carrying those burdens of pain and agony and all type of stuff on your heart because it creates a disease, it creates illnesses, it creates a lot of drama that you don't need when it just takes one thing just to give it to them and talk to them. And you know what I'm saying? Like, cry if you have to. You may be tired of crying, but don't give up on life because you're tired of crying. Crying can be the, the healing process of you becoming this beautiful butterfly that you're meant to be. You're a beautiful flower, and I told you this, but I'm going to need for you to see what I see, and I'm going to need for you to see what others see inside of you that we might need to keep us going. You know what I'm saying? Your existence is the purpose of someone else's. You know what I'm saying? Just seeing you walking up and down the street can make a person want to live to see another day or to keep living forever. Um, I'm, I'm just really lost for words, but... I'm speaking from my heart because I don't really want to lose no one to, to anything. If I could keep everybody that I know in a little glass jar, I would. But I know life is not like that. And I just want the best for you. I want you to be happy. And happiness isn't by leaving this earth, in my opinion, and I stand on it. I love you. I love you all, whoever watched this, whoever feels some type of way. Talk to, talk to somebody about it. Let someone know. Don't hold it in. Because at the end of the day, you're still going to be faced with it. You can sleep on it. You can drink on it. You can smoke on it. And it's still going to exist until you give it to God or whoever you believe in. I'm out.